Yes, guys, welcome back to another video we're going to be doing here on the channel today. Cardiff City is the first game that we'll be playing at Cardiff, our big local rivals. Um, and then we have a game at home against Huddersfield. We're going to get straight into this match. We're very excited to hopefully pick up the win. We have got an injury. I thought I picked the team last night. Obviously, I didn't. Or uh, yesterday afternoon, should I say. Um, what am I doing? I don't know. Where is... I've literally... Oh, there he is. Jeju for him. And then we'll put Semenyo back. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. But this is the team that we're going to be playing. To hopefully pick up the victory against our big local rivals. We've got Bentley in goal. We have Pereira, Simpson, Callas and De Silva in, in the defence. The four defenders. We have Masengo, Brownhill and Maggie in central midfield. We have Semenyo on the right. We have Odalder on the left and Afobi up front. Um, Jefferson obviously got injured. He's injured. So um, I'm going to have to do this without him. He's now out for about a month or so. Maybe a month, six weeks or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. And... Um, so yeah, uh, De Silva comes in, a very good replacement for, for for Jefferson. But as I'm saying that, Cardiff City have just scored. Um, yeah, brilliant. You know, look at that. Poor defending from us. It's crossed in and then at the back post, De Silva should be winning that header. But Mendes Lang for Cardiff gets there first and scores the goal. Brilliant. Yeah. I mean, this looking this season, I'm looking to um to pro progress and carry on going because I'm a little bit surprised at how well we are actually doing. To be fair, and um, it's I'm quite surprised actually. In fact, so we know that that obviously now. We're playing much better. But I was, you know, I was expecting this to just be a mid-table team. After leaving Arsenal, I was, you know, that was the best that I could really expect. But we've really done well and, and pushed on. Um, but obviously, getting back to this game, we need to get a goal and fast. And as I'm saying that, we have done. Benek 15th goal of the season. Another assist for Josh Brownhill as well from the corner kick. Whipped in. First time on the header, first time header in the net, easy peasy. Although I ain't being funny, I've just realised I just said a first time header. Can you get a not a first time header? I don't know. But as I'm wondering that, they've now scored again. So all that hard work in going forward and getting a goal has just been taken away. Another cross into the box, free kick, Murphy whips it in, sheaf for them, heads it in. Where's our defenders? Who knows? We're now coming forward, but I'm not too confident of, of us getting anything out of it. Pereira plays it in to nobody. The clearance comes to Odalda. Semenyo heads it. Is that a save or is that off the bar? I don't even know. Um... To make a couple of subs. Brownhill coming off for Brown. Uh, Brownhill looking absolutely knackered at this point. Semenyo coming off for Patterson for the exact same reason. Um, but now here come Cardiff again on the attack. Is a free kick which has been saved. So they've now got a corner, which. Doesn't bode well for us because we can't seem to defend crosses today. As I'm saying that, they get the header. Luckily, this time it goes past the post and we haven't been punished. We've now got a free kick. We're going to whip it into the box from the central area. We have done that, but it's cleared to Callas, who has a long shot. And he puts it just wide and high, you know, not a very good attempt. I was just about to put us to attacking, but I think 
I'll just watch his highlight first. I thought it was going to be our highlight, but it seems like it's going to be their highlight. And they put it past the post, but yeah, we are going to go attack him at this point. I think we have to, really. It's whipped into the box. And it's a penalty. Brilliant. Saved by Bentley. That bodes well. We need to get forward now. But obviously they put the corner first. And I thought that was going to be the end of the highlight. And that is surely going to be the end of the highlight. So we're going to make a change now. We're going to bring... We're going to put Masengo more forward. And we're going to bring Nagy off. who has been absolutely poor tonight. And we're going to bring Bozer on. Well, I've literally just clicked cancel. I've literally just tried to do the, tact, the changes and clicked cancel. That's how my day is going. Um, I'm assuming this is an evening game. I don't actually. I said we've been playing poor tonight, but this might just be an afternoon game. I, I, I don't know. It looks pretty dark to, on the screen to me. Uh, but, you know, I suppose it could be anywhere. Go very attacking now. We need a goal. Perhaps we've left it too late. We'll show some passion for two and a half minutes that's left of the game. But it's seeming like it's not going to have an effect. And we've lost to our big rivals. Um, yeah, that is disappointing. Had we have won, we'd only be a point behind Southampton and QPR. And three points behind Brighton. Um, but we've lost. So we'll go into the Huddersfield game and hopefully get the get the winning ways back on track. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Yes, guys, as I said, I'll be back with the next game of the video against Huddersfield at Ashton Gate. Uh, the team we're going to be putting out there today to hopefully get the three points is Bentley and Goal. We're back for Pereira, Simpson, Callis and De Silva. We have Masengo, Brown and Brownhill in central midfield. Eliasson on the right, O'Dowd on the left and the Phobia up front. So we'll get straight into this one. Hopefully we can put in a better performance than we did against Cardiff in the last game. That was disappointing. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can we can push on and, and, and pick up the three points now, um, which I think that would make a, an OK video for today. Um, which would mean you've got to like this video, put the likes on the video, like, 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 it helps me out, share it with people, show people, um, show your friends, your work colleagues, anyone, just get these videos out there um, if you're enjoying them, because I am enjoying it, making them, it's, you know, I am having a lot of fun with this, so, so yeah, the further we can take this, the, the yeah, the, the better, I suppose. Pereira, pass it to Eliasson now. He's cut inside. He's had a shot. It's cleared. The phobia got the ball and it was then cleared again. Um, they're looking uninterested. So let's show some passion for the last few moments of the half. Eliasson's going to whip the ball and he does. Callas with the header and that's gone over the bar or wide or both. It could be, you know, it was a poor effort in the end. O'Dowd are having a poor game out on the left. Both Alvin is not really having the best of games. Um, try and sort of show that we've been the better team. And just carry on going. Uh, but yeah, both openers have uh, not been playing very well. Which isn't ideal. But not to worry, you know, we're, we're still pushing. And we're still we're still going. Masengo to Brownhill. Masengo on the ball to Brown. To Masengo. Plays it across to Pereira. Is he going to get the cross in? No, he passes it to Eliasson, who gets tackled. Not good enough, but Simpson's picked the ball up, passed it to his centre-back partner, Callas. He spreads it wide to O'Dowda. He's running, passes it to De Silva. De Silva's still got it somehow. Brownhill to Brown, who has a shot against his former team, and Brown has scored. Reese Brown against his former team. This Huddersfield is the team we signed him from, and he scored against his, his old teammates, and that was a good goal from Brown, a good strike from just outside the edge of the D, top corner. That was fantastic. And there we go. 
and we're one nil up now, fully deserved in my personal opinion. De Silva now to a phobie, back to De Silva. He's running, he's got the cross in, but it's cleared, but we've got the ball back and we're going again. Hopefully we can get another goal just to secure our position in this game. O'Dowder on the ball, he's run past his man, he has the shot, easy save, it was a poor effort. I'm going to bring them off now, actually, and put a, I'm going to switch them two around. And we're going to bring um, Patterson on for O'Dowder and do that. And hopefully we can go on to get another goal. Just to pick up another another few points would be good. Three points to end the video would be fantastic. But as I'm saying that, they've just had a very close chance. It's gone just wide. A little warning shot, perhaps, that, you know, all is not, it's not secure yet. And I'm just going to tell the lads to get creative. Um, hopefully that, well, it doesn't really have much of an effect on them, but not to worry. We're coming towards the end of the game now. We're going to bring Masengo, Maseng, Masengo off. Sorry, I'm stuttering. <laughs> I'm going to bring Masengo off. For Liam Walsh, Masengo's getting pretty tired out there. Eliasson's not had the best of games today, but he's going to play the full 90 minutes. Walsh whips the ball in and it's cleared. And now here come Huddersfield on the attack. Could there be a sting in the tail? There is going to be. They've scored, but it's disallowed. Thank God for that. It's been given us offside. We are lucky, lucky, lucky today. We are very, very lucky to still be 1-0 up here. And it's we just boot the ball forward to... Wow, what's their goalkeeper done there? That Was was that good closing down or just poor? I mean, OK, now we're going to watch the offside again. That is tight. That is tight. But thank God for that. The linesman's given it and we've got the win. I'm going to tell the lads, well done. Cause we've got that three points that we was craving to end the video on brown gets one over on huddersfield that's not me that's reese brown as i said we signed him from huddersfield um, and i'm going to praise him for his performance because he did very well um and yeah look at that the league table's looking pretty good pretty good so obviously southampton have got a game in hand as well as brighton i think they're playing each other so only one of them is going to put ahead hopefully a draw would be good um in that game but i'm not sure apart from that all is looking good. Look at the bottom of the table, 24 points. You know, we're on 62, so I can't believe we're that far past the relegation zones. I was expecting to sort of be around here at this point in the season. Um, the next video, I'm not 100% sure when it will be. Obviously, it'll be tomorrow, uh, Monday. Uh, but, I, but what I mean is on, on the schedule here, maybe the fifth round tie against, Preston, uh, against Swansea and then the game against Preston. Um, Possibly, or maybe the we might do the Swansea game, skip Preston, and then do the QPR game. I don't know, um, although it might be sort of April time. But not sure. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, like the video. As I said earlier, like it, share it, show it to people. Just get it out there. Just get more viewers, more subscribers. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Put the notification bell on so you know every time I upload, it, you get a notification through to tell you so you can watch it straight away. Um, we, you know, this series is going well, so I think it deserves a, a like and a subscription. Um, and yeah, have a good rest of your day. Have a good weekend and I'll see you on Monday for another video. Cheers.